Hello and a very warm welcome to Science Monitor, your weekly update on what's happening in the field of science, technology, research and innovation in and around the country. I'm Tina Jha. From India's first messenger RNA technology based COVID-19 vaccine candidate getting a major push to an innovative device to sniff the explosive materials in just 10 seconds. We have plenty in store for you on this edition of Science Monitor. But first up, the headlines. Ahar Kranti launched by Union Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan. The movement aims to end malnutrition by raising awareness about accessible and locally available nutritious foods in India. Clinical trials of India's first messenger RNA-based COVID-19 vaccine candidate to begin soon. Ministry of Science and Technology approves additional funding for clinical trials of HGCO19 developed by Genova Biopharmaceuticals. Indian researchers developed world's first micro-sensor-based explosive trace detector. The device called Nano Sniffer will detect the explosive material in less than 10 seconds. And the use of artificial intelligence is expanding in an unprecedented way. The field offers many opportunities to make a career. And now the news in detail. To create nationwide awareness about the value of accessible to all locally available nutritious foods in India, a movement called Ahar Kranti was launched by Union Minister Dr. Harshvardhan on the 13th of April. The movement aims to end malnutrition among the Indian population by creating awareness about the nutritional richness of India's traditional diet, the healing powers of the local fruits and vegetables, and the miracles of a balanced diet. Let's see this report for more details. The current coronavirus pandemic has shown us that a strong immunity is of utmost importance for a healthy life. People whose immunity was better had the least threat of contracting the infection and also had less severe symptoms if they did get infected. So, what builds the body's immunity? Well, the answer is quite simple. A nutritious diet is all you need to build a strong immunity. In fact, the more we focus on nutrition, the stronger and healthier our society as a whole will be. Keeping this in mind, Ahar Kranti, Uttam Ahar, Uttam Vichar, was launched on April the 13th as a nutritional mass movement through a virtual event. Dignitaries and officials of organizations related to the campaign were also part of the online function. हम सब जानते हैं कि पोषण उत्तम जीवन का आधार है। स्वस्थ जीवन से ही स्वस्थ एवं समृद्ध समाज का निर्माण होता है। हमारे ऋषियों महर्षियों द्वारा अनवेषित आयुर्वेद ने पूरी दुनिया का मार्गदर्शन किया है। और अब समय आ गया है कि हम उसी समृद्ध ज्ञान को फिर से जीवन में लागू कर स्वास्थ्य और सामाजिक चुनौतियों का सामना करें। विज्ञान भारती and its associate organization Global Indian Scientists and Technocrats Forum have launched Ahar Kranti with the idea of positive nutrition, Uttam Ahar, Uttam Vichar. It is being promoted by Vigyan Prasar and Pravasi Bharatiya Academic and Scientific Sampark or Prabhas of CSIR with the aim of creating a mass movement. The mission is to make people aware about the nutrients in locally available fruit and vegetables from different regions of the country. This diet revolution will help not only in removing malnutrition but also in improving the economic health of the country as the market for local fruit and vegetables will get an impetus. Demand for traditional crops will also increase leading to increased returns of farmers and local vendors. At the same time, a nourished society will help the nation in facing epidemics and challenges like the coronavirus in the future. For this movement to be successful, every section of the society needs to be reinformed about the traditional diet and its nutritional values. जो प्रकृति में जिस समय उपलब्ध रहता है, उस समय उसका सेवन करना ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण ऐसा वैज्ञानिक सिद्धांत है। ये एक पक्ष अन्न के बारे में 
हम सब अपने देश में परंपरा से आया हुआ देखते हैं जैसे जिस समय में क्या खाना चाहिए इसका एक विधि विज्ञान के आधार पर बन गया है और सदियों से अपने देश में चल रहा है लेकिन फिर एक बार इसका स्मरण सभी को करा देने की आवश्यकता है ऑन द ओकेजन अ मंथली न्यूज पेपर कॉल्ड आहार क्रांति वॉज ऑल्सो रिलीज दिस न्यूज पेपर विल बी पब्लिश इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश बाय विज्ञान प्रसार एंड देर विल बी अ नंबर ऑफ ऑफलाइन एंड ऑनलाइन अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी इंडियन लैंग्वेज As part of this, special attention will be given to the training of teachers who will help spread the program's message to their students and in turn reach the students' families. This is being done to ensure that the message of the program penetrates the entire Indian society. The hope is that the ancient Indian knowledge of Ayurveda will once again prove to be a guide for the whole world. In a significant development towards having more indigenous COVID-19 vaccine candidates in India, the Ministry of Science and Technology has recently approved additional funding towards clinical studies of HGCO19, which is India's first messenger RNA-based vaccine candidate. The candidate has been developed by Pune-based Genova Biopharmaceuticals Limited, and it will receive the funding under Mission COVID Suraksha. which was launched by the government of india in november 2020 to accelerate the development of promising vaccine candidates in the country more details in this report on 16th march 2020 us began first human trials of a covid-19 vaccine candidate the candidate was based on the messenger rna technology On 8th December 2020 when the first person in the world was vaccinated against COVID-19 the approved vaccine was also based on the messenger RNA platform Although both these vaccines were developed by different alliances yet the approval of the mRNA based vaccines in the trying times of COVID was a game changing development as no mrna based drug or vaccine had been licensed for use on humans before the pandemic of covid-19 the successful and quick implementation of this technology has given a lot of hope to the scientists now india's own vaccine candidate based on mrna platform is set to enter clinical trials The candidate named HGC019 has been developed by Pune-based Genova Biopharmaceuticals Limited in collaboration with HDT Biotech Corporation USA. The Ministry of Science and Technology's Department of Biotechnology DBT has been handholding Genova's right from the start and has facilitated establishing Genova's mRNA based next generation vaccine manufacturing platform. by providing seed funding for the development of HGCO19 now the department has also decided to provide further funding to the company towards the clinical studies of HGCO19 the funding will be provided under mission covid suraksha Unlike the traditional vaccines that have weakened or inactivated form of the pathogen to generate immunity response in the subjects, the mRNA based vaccine uses a synthetic piece of messenger RNA that is capable of instructing our bodies to make pathogen related protein to generate immunity response. The mRNA is non infectious, non integrating in nature and degraded by standard cellular mechanisms. mRNA vaccines are fully synthetic and can be quickly manufactured inexpensively under the current GMP conditions to ensure their availability and accessibility for mass vaccination on a sustainable basis. The establishment of such a technology platform will empower India to handle the COVID-19 pandemic and ensure the preparedness for any future pandemic or endemic stage that will follow by utilizing its rapid development path. 
HGC019 has already demonstrated safety, immunogenicity, neutralization, antibody activity in the rodent and non-human primate models and has got the regulatory clearance from the Review Committee on Genetic Manipulation and the Office of the Drugs Controller General of India, CDSCO, Government of India, to conduct clinical trials. Meanwhile, to meet the current and future demand of COVID-19 vaccines, India has also agreed to fast-track vaccine approvals that have already been authorized by drug regulators of the US, UK, European Union and Japan, or those that have been cleared by the WHO. These vaccines will be eligible for use in India without having to conduct a local bridging trial. Time for a short break here on the program. Lots more coming up ahead. Do stay with us. Rajya Sabha Television is available on all DTH platforms and cable TV networks. RS TV is a free to air and mandatory channel which every DTH platform and all cable TV networks have to carry compulsorily. To watch RSTV on DD Free Dish, tune in to channel number 027. For Tata Sky, channel number 599. To watch RSTV on Dish TV, tune in to 697. On Airtel DTH, program your set top box to channel number 403. For Sun Direct, channel number 580. And for D2H service, tune into channel number 330. Remember, RS TV is available on all TTH platforms and cable TV networks. So keep watching Rajya Sabha Television, Democracy at Work. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Science Monitor. Indian researchers have developed a new device to detect explosive material. The device called Nano Sniffer is the world's first micro sensor based explosive trace detector to literally sniff the explosives in less than 10 seconds. The device has been developed by an incubated startup of IIT Bombay and another startup related to IIT Delhi is marketing this device. Nano Sniffer was recently launched by Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Security agencies commonly use sniffer dogs to detect explosives and contraband materials at sensitive locations. For this, several types of sensor-based equipment are being used currently. But most of these devices are imported, which also leads to some practical problems in the use of these devices. To overcome these problems, two startups have now developed a microsensor based explosive trace detector called Nano Sniffer under the Make in India program. Union Minister for Education Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank recently launched this indigenous device in an online event. Nano Sniffer is the world's first explosive detection device using microsensor technology. It can detect and identify the explosive within 10 seconds. Our technology is different in a way that it's a physics-based approach to the problem as opposed to chemistry-based detectors. So the earlier detectors were essentially a chemistry lab packed into a device, which essentially meant that they were expensive devices and there were some disadvantages. Uh, this device actually uses the physical nature of the explosive that the explosives explode. So we essentially using a MEM sensor carry out a micro explosion within the uh, sensor cavity and then try to distinguish the explosive. So it's a different technology altogether than existing detectors. Nano Sniffer has been developed by the Nano Sniff Technologies, which is a commercial spin-off from the Center of Excellence in Nano Electronics at IIT Bombay. The device is marketed by Vihant Technologies, a spin-off of IIT Delhi's incubated startup called Kritikal. 
artificial intelligence and machine learning based micro sensors in the nano sniffer not only detect explosives quickly but also classify them giving instant information about their type the device comes with a sunlight readable color display and also issues visible and audible alerts the device is capable of detecting nanogram quantities of explosive traces even in an x-ray you can detect an explosive but there would be chances where a uh, couple of cheese slices stacked together may not be distinguished very well from an explosive so an operator gets a kind of a, sus a suspicion through an x-ray baggage but then explosive trace detector like this nano sniffer is used to verify whether the person is actually carrying an explosive and what kind of explosive so it's a confirmatory test uh, of uh, the explosives In view of the increasing security challenges in today's world, it has become common to look for explosives at airports, railway stations, metro stations, hotels, malls, and other public and high security places. The nano sniffer will facilitate quick scanning and advanced detection, while also being cheaper due to it being indigenous. The device has been tested by the Defence Research and Development Organisation's High Energy Materials Research Laboratory and the National Security Guard. Artificial intelligence is finding acceptance in all walks of life now. From space missions to applications of daily use, this innovative technology is trying to make our lives easier and simpler. Since this is a growing field, the need for artificial intelligence experts is also on the rise. Let's see this report to know more about the opportunities in this field to create a future in this particular discipline. From search engines in our smartphones to digital voice assistants like Alexa, the implementation of artificial intelligence in our life has never been so evident. But this is not all. Many AI-driven technologies and applications have been developed across the world, and many more are waiting to be discovered. A successful implementation of AI in machines is the outcome of several branches of engineering. So, Indian science and technology institutes are working diligently in this field. In simple words, AI or artificial intelligence is targeted data that is stored in any device or machine. Using this data, a software capable of accurately assessing any situation is created. This software comes in handy in real-time situations. In the field of research, artificial intelligence is used for innovation in existing technology and methods. and applied ai enables real life applications for daily use machines capable of recognizing your face and voice and self driving vehicles are some of the examples of applied ai artificial intelligence as a field has seen significant growth over the last few years uh, this has been powered by a huge explosion of data both coming from personal data as well as social media and as well as the confluence of uh, a, a, a massive increase in compute power powered by gpus uh, over the last 4 uh, to 5 years the most important tool to have in your arsenal in order to make a career in this field is the knowledge of computer science and mathematics students pursuing engineering in subjects like computer science software technology mathematics electronics and electricals can specialize in artificial intelligence for this special courses are available in almost every major institute related to computer science students can opt for different types of certificate diploma undergraduate and postgraduate courses in this field Institutes offering courses in artificial intelligence and machine learning in India currently include Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Bangalore National Institute of Engineering Mysuru Indian Institute of Information Technology Prayag Amity University Kolkata Birla Institute of Technology Ranchi Osmania University Hyderabad 
Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad, Chandigarh University, Indraprasth Institute of Information Technology, Delhi. There are several online courses as well. In India, several IITs have introduced online course in AI and multinational companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Tesla are also offering online courses. These courses cover different elements of artificial intelligence and machine learning. The IITs and the University of Hyderabad also offers short-term courses in this field. Depending on, on your interest or passion, you can choose to go into, into different areas or streams where uh, AI is applied. And these could be in the areas of either computer vision, it could be in speech, it could be in language modeling, understanding uh, human actions, it could be uh, in applying AI to medical science, it could be in trying to predict uh, or forecast the weather, it could be in areas of trying to uh, do energy automation or optimization of, let's say, a, of, of a city traffic network, so AI could essentially be applied to all of these. After completing these courses, there are several employment opportunities that one can choose from. You can become a big data engineer, business development officer, robotics programmer, search engine analyst, machine learning engineer, data scientist, etc. According to a report of the World Economic Forum, by the year 2025, more than 13 crore jobs can be created in the field of artificial intelligence. Today, AI experts are getting jobs in social networking sites, besides finding work in industries like information technology, retail and e-commerce, banking and finance, healthcare, automobile, textile, entertainment and gaming, and also in the defence sector. Artificial intelligence is the technology of the future that promises to change the way we live and work. In the future, health and administrative systems and even the agriculture sector will commonly use artificial intelligence. So, employment and opportunities in this field are bound to grow. Time for another short break on the program, but don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. में है जहां जैव विविधता इतनी है तो उसी को हर मास ऋतु के हिसाब से हर कैलेंडर में दिखाया गया इसमें हमने तीन कैलेंडर्स को आ, किया है जिसमें यूनी सोलर है और हमारा जो नेशनल सोलर कैलेंडर है वो और ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर तो एक तरह से हम इंटीग्रिटी की बात कर रहे हैं जिस पे रिलीजन रीजन उससे कोई लेना देना नहीं है तो हमने ये सोचा कि इसका एक प्रकार से जिसका खगोल के साथ भी रिलेशन है हमारे आहार के साथ भी उसका रिलेशन है इन सब का मिलके क्या हमें कैलेंडर के साथ इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं क्या तो ये एक पहला प्रयास है कि लूनी सोलर यानी चंद्र और सूरज के साथ जुड़ा हुआ मासों के साथ जुड़ा हुआ ये कैलेंडर हमारे आहार के साथ और हमारे त्यौहारों के साथ मिला हुआ The Indian National Young Academy of Science has launched a nationwide awareness campaign to dispel the myths about the coronavirus vaccine among the general public. Recently, Professor Ashutosh Sharma, Secretary, Department of Science and Technology, launched the campaign through a webinar. As part of this campaign, a mobile application named COVAC News has been prepared, which will disseminate information in 11 regional languages besides Hindi and English. Apart from this, the Academy is also organizing a nationwide infographic audiovisual competition and webinar series. This will involve renowned experts from across the country to create awareness through lectures about the coronavirus infection, vaccine and the vaccination process. It is the need of the hour that people get vaccinated without any hesitation and help the society and the nation to face this pandemic. There has been another development in the bid to find solutions to fight the novel coronavirus. Gurugram-based startup O2 Cure has developed a purifier that kills COVID-19 nearly 99% from air to surface. According to the company, this PHI cell-based technology has been tested at the Virology Lab of CSIR's Centre for Cellular and Molecular Biology, CCMB, Hyderabad. 
during the testing, the purifier was successful in reducing 97.48% of the virus present. This purifier is equipped with air-absorbing drills and can purify an area of 500 square feet. This air purifier can be installed in densely populated areas to fight not only the COVID-19 causing coronavirus but also other pollutants. So that's it from us in this edition of Science Monitor. You can send us your feedback and suggestions through email. Our email ID is news at the rate vigyanprasar.gov.in. Besides, you can also write to us. Our address is Vigyan Prasar, 5th floor, Prithvi Bhavan, Lodi Road, New Delhi, 11003. So time to take your leave now. See you again next week. Till then, stay safe. Take care of yourselves and your families and continue to think scientifically.